Welcome back to Let's Play Ill Bleed. It's the final part of Killer Man, and now it's time to finally find out who the mysterious Killer Man is. Are you ready? Then let's go. Get a load of that! Jason was right. But why would he kill workers who don't have any award money? Well, that's because... Mm... Aren't you a detective? Shh! Who's that? I hear you. Come out with your hands up. So, it's you guys, you dirty rats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. You're here to get my money. <laughs> no, you can't do this. <laughs> There's 50,000 dead bodies here. What's a few more bodies? Nothing like being part of a crowd, eh? <laughs> please, please don't shoot me. Don't waste your breath, buddy. Nothing phases me. Nothing faces Cunningham, except apparently a giant anime laser to the back. But anyway, it's now time to fight Killer Man for real. And apparently we can eliminate Cunningham as a potential suspect, seeing how he just got killed. Uh, Killer Man has a few different attacks that he's going to throw at us, including this area of effective attack right there. He's got throwing stars from his face, and he's got his giant anime laser. So he's going to be teleporting around the room, and we're going to want to use the shotgun for this. It's just too difficult to use a melee weapon. Now, Killer Man is one of the harder bosses in the game, uh, but if you have an upgraded character, it really isn't too difficult. And of course, Eriko is just about entirely upgraded here. So, I'm not going to have too much trouble here, but with an unupgraded character, this fight is much harder than it may look. The only thing I'm not sure about is, where are we fighting? What is this room? It... What is this? I don't, I don't know what this is. But he, as you can see, well, here comes his giant anime laser. There it is. Uh, that one does a little bit of a damage, and I like how, even though that's a $20 million costume, we can see a big zipper in the back of it. There's a close-up look at that attack, but for all the fanfare, the fight is just about over. Scott, Jeff, Martin... These workers were all killed by the spirits of dead visitors. They possess the killer man's body and use him to carry out the kills. Except for the second murder of Cunningham. Cunningham tried to frame Jason for the deed so he could grab the award money when no one was looking. Unfortunately, Jason discovered Cunningham's killer man costume with its sensor removed. So Cunningham decided to kill Jason who managed to survive the attack. That explains why Jason's attacker moved differently and used a different weapon than the other Killer Man spirits. It was Cunningham in the Killer Man disguise. The tables were turned when the spirits of the dead visitors got the best of the impersonator. Ill bleed. What a scary place. But what is more scary is how a human soul can be so full of hate and anger. this what you're going to write your article about? Yes, if I can make it home alive. The headline will be... Revealed the real culprits behind a homicidal theme park. I see. What's wrong? Mm, nothing. Ah, this mysterious theme park, Ill Bleed. Our investigation is almost over. The Michael Reynolds Museum is nearby. Let's go. Reasoning had nothing to do with it.
Reasoning had nothing to do with it. So yeah, the correct suspect to pick was Killer Man, as because Killer Man was Killer Man apparently. Uh, even though Killer Man was actually the souls of the past challengers, which were not suspects at all. That, that was not brought up before we actually got to make our choice. So the actual cho choice to make is Killer Man. So we get an extra million dollar prize in addition to the prize money from this level. And thus the case is closed. And of course, completing the level takes us back to the entry uh, point to Michael Reynolds' Virtual Horror Land, Illbleed, once again. So, Yorg said that it was time to get to the bottom of this and go to the Michael Reynolds Museum. That's not correct, because there's still one more attraction in our way before we can get to the museum. And it's one that is out of the ordinary. It seems kind of strange. Uh, actually, I'm upgrading Eriko here, and we're doing some of our final upgrades here. She is completely upgraded in most of these areas. And I'm just going to do a little upgrading to Yorg as well, because I'll be using him for the next level, just to show him a little bit. However, even though I will be using Yorg, we won't actually be seeing him too much in the next level. We'll see why. Right, so five theaters down, one more to go. And as I said, this next level is out of the ordinary. It seems kind of strange that this is the last attraction. It would seem more logical if Killer Man was the last attraction, because then you would go directly to the museum. But no, there's one more in our way. And let's just see this. We have all five characters finally. Since all five characters are here, that means we can now get the good ending. There are three endings, actually. The bad ending, the good ending, and the true ending. And to get the good ending, which is what we'll be seeing first, you have to get all of the characters rescued. So here's the last theater. The last attraction of the evening. The Child Palace is showing Toy Hunter. A parody of a movie that you may recognize, you may have seen before. Starring Cork who we ha uh, saw a cameo of in the Killer Department store. The prize money for this level is $300,000, and the sign is actually correct this time. So next time, we'll be starting the final attraction, Toy Hunter, on Let's Play Illbleed.